You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 39 of the Clock Cleaners podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about the Superstar Shakeup. Yeah. Um, overall thoughts so far? I mean, the week's not over. They said there's still going to be some moves. They did? They did. Oh. Yeah. That's weird. Maybe they announced it on Twitter. Maybe they're going to put some people on uh, on NXT. There actually is a rumor that Alexander Wolf is going back down to NXT. Whatever. Eric Young uh, like Raw. just appeared on, or didn't appear on Raw, but yeah. kind of just like they threw it out there that he's on Raw. So that would make yeah. sense. Uh-huh. And um, <clears throat> Killian Dane will probably just stand on SmackDown as a singles person. It makes sense. Yes, yeah. Wolf really has no purpose anyway. Well, it was weird because Wolf had posted on Twitter that I guess he was saying goodbye to WWE, and then one of the websites that I follow, I guess, had gotten confirmation that he was just off the main roster and probably returning to NXT. Oh, sure. So, Whatever. I don't know. And then matter. Luke Harper asked for his release. He did. Um, I feel like somebody else did, too. Maybe not. Sasha. That was last uh, week, though. I, I guess. I mean, we don't know the true story there. Well, you know, speculation. That's true. And she's been, I guess, dark since yeah, then. Cryptic tweets and yeah. whatnot. But um, overall thoughts of the superstar shakeup? Um, this is the first. Uh, let me rephrase that. Because I think there's been a couple of them where, like, oh, I don't know what they're going to do with this stuff. And right. it kind of worked out. Mm-hmm. I really feel like they really don't have an idea. No, I'm sure they have a plan, but I don't know of, like, anything that can really work. Because, for one thing, you sent Roman over to SmackDown, and he's not... He could go for the title, but what's the point? Well, yeah, here, here's the thing. Like, before that was announced at the end of the show, I was like, this is exactly how I want it to be. You have Kofi as the champion, and you literally have everyone that can challenge for this title. It's true. I mean, you had the six-man tag. You have Cesaro, you have Nakamura, you have Rusev, and all of them would be believable contenders. That's and true, then all of a especially sudden you with throw Reigns on the show, and it's like, oh. And the biggest thing is that Roman doesn't have any obvious opponents. Yeah. Whereas on Raw, at least, he was you know dealing with the, the dickhead heels mm-hmm. where he didn't necessarily need to go for the championship. That's true. Now you kind of feel like either he's going to feud with Elias which is, That'll probably be the first few. I know, but that's kind of stupid mm-hmm. when you think about it, because... I'm not disagreeing. Cause, like, did they have something already? They've wrestled. Yeah. <clears throat> but it, it just... It's Elias. They both came from Raw. Mm-hmm. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, not really. Um, but yeah, no, it was pretty funny the way they did it with Vince announcing the biggest uh, acquisition in SmackDown history. Yeah. You roll your eyes, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Go, going into it, I'm like, okay, it's either Reigns or Lesnar. Yeah. And as soon as it was Elias that he announced, I'm like, oh, it's Reigns. Yeah. Because he's not going to have... Like, it would be cool if Lesnar just came out and did what Reigns did. But I think... Fig- Tuesday nights. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he used to. Yeah. He used to work. Yeah, it was, it was Tuesday, Tuesday and it was aired on Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Um, yeah. Could have done something crazy and had, like, the Undisputed Era come up or something. That would have made sense. Mm-hmm. A lot more than the Viking experience. Yeah, and we'll get to that. The only, One of the things I really was annoyed about with Reigns on SmackDown is you couldn't put them with the Usos now because they're on Raw. Yeah, it's funny. And you know, You've you, been talking about that for a while. Well, they now. changed the Usos gimmick so it was no longer that stupid thing that they did when mm-hmm. they were together The with cartoony Reigns. stuff. Yes, and this would have worked perfectly. It's true. And Maybe they don't like each other, so Roman keeps on politicking to get off the scene. <laughs> there same. you go. I don't want to be with my family. So, Roman, we were thinking about putting the Usos on Raw. How do you feel about that? Put me on SmackDown. Yeah, I I find that (laughs) Not happening. Not happening. Um, But it'll be interesting to see. I don't know if this is some sort of litmus test just to see, considering they're going to uh, Fox. No, that has a lot to do with it. Well, yeah, if Reigns is really a draw or not, because SmackDown is obviously the lower-rated show. It's true. So I don't know if... Roman got cheered. Yeah. So that's a plus. Because honestly, I think that would that would have been a good opportunity for them to dis, uh, I guess, <clears throat> show displeasure. Mm-hmm. And the crowd is very interactive both nights. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So in Canada. So that would be where you would know like what 
That's true. So the fact that he got cheered, I guess, is a plus. Yeah. Um. But yeah, there's really going going into the main event of Raw. It was kind of funny. It's like Our boy this Baron Corbin is literally. Well, that's not even what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, there's literally one person it could possibly. Oh be yeah, yeah. Because there's no face on SmackDown that would fit that position. Mm-hmm. That wouldn't be just dumb because they made a big deal about it. Yep. And if it wasn't Kevin Owens, it had to be AJ, AJ. Styles. Yeah. <clears throat> and I thought it was gonna be AJ the whole way. Yeah. I didn't think it really making any sense. Oh, I knew it was gonna be AJ, but I was hoping it was gonna be Owens. Yeah. But we did get the big O, so yes. that is something. And yeah. he is so turning on Kofi, and that'll probably end up being a uh, a title feud. Funny enough, I thought he was gonna turn at the beginning of the show. Yeah. No, they'll they'll drag this, it out. This is gonna be a while. It, this is a SummerSlam match, they, right? They need to. That's that's fine. Yeah. Because Kevin Owens is. One of my favorites. I know he's one of yours. And mm-hmm. regardless of the role he's put in, he always thrives. It's so true. I got nothing. The man, the man is hilarious. You know who else I've really enjoyed is uh, Sammy being back. He is, uh, he, he, he just, he's himself. <laughs> oh, man. He was on screen for about 10 minutes, mm-hmm. and he did nothing but dance the whole yeah. time. Yeah, and it was entertaining. And then he called the fans a bunch of morons. Well, you know, he did that last week, too, and he, right when he came back. Yeah, he did. Yeah. But it was good. Mm-hmm. They they had him come out with his with his song and he's dancing all over the place. Then they started again yep. and they started again, and he's like, "You people." Mm-hmm. He's like, "I I'm from uh, Montreal. I moved away from this yeah, because I of live you in people. sunny Orlando, <laughs> Florida." Yeah. Um. So that was that. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, the Viking experience. So I guess we don't like war in the name. Is that? I, I, I figured that's what it is. It, it's probably more the chant. Yeah. Because I get it. It's a little <laughs> bit of a reach. Yeah. It's a little no, bit of a reach. No, no, not really. Well, let How me... far does WWE extend out of its own bubble? It's not the point. You're trying to... Yeah, I guess. You're trying to pitch a show while it's not going to be the show that's on a major network Mm -hmm. trying to pitch to them that you have a bunch of people that just chant war it's it sounds like propaganda (laughs) we know wrestling fans are dumb but well it's it's more it's more of the the extra eyes that they're gonna see yeah no that's fair and it is kids and stuff like that that still are their i guess target audience i don't know if there is it's not nxt's target audience it's the main roster's target audience so that makes it. It's just the Viking experience is a super stupid name. Yeah, it could have been. It could have been anything else. Mm-hmm. No, it could have just been the Raiders. It could have. Yeah, that would have made there a lot a more rumor, sense. I read earlier on that said they were going to be named the Berserkers, which I, I don't know. I kind of like the name. I'm not going to lie. It, it's anything is better than the Viking experience. <laughs> uh, um, so this is something I've wondered. Is uh, what is it, Ray? Roe is married to Sarah Logan, right? Yes. Now, they've always talked about Sarah Logan being a from or a Viking or something like that. Oh, I wonder she'll if probably the... be her valet, yeah, their valet. I don't I don't see why not. Well, they split up the Riot Squad. They did because Morgan's on SmackDown. Now. Yeah. Which, funny enough, actually seems like an appropriate place for her. I think so. She might I... flourish just like Carmella did. Yeah. And I think that Raw <clears throat> is good for Ruby. And if yeah. Sarah is not going to be involved with anything. Yeah. And it's, we don't know what the deal with Rhonda is as far as... Well, her hand's broken. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but just the future. Right now, it's... No, she, she, she... I think she's not going to be cleared for like a year. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they think with her injury, she was supposed to be out until the beginning of next year at the earliest. Wow. So sure. if she comes back, it'll be at the Rumble. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, it seemed like a lot of the women moved over to SmackDown. Yeah, it's like... Like, not even, like... It was like extra. Mm-hmm. So we had what Ember move over, mm-hmm. Bailey move over, yep. Mickey James, Liv Morgan. We had Kyrie move up. Yeah, well, yeah, it doesn't really count though because yeah. it's not. But I guess it does. <clears throat> um, I guess the iconics are they just don't floating really count right now. Yeah. Um, but the Raw Charlotte's women's still div- there. Yeah, Becky's on both. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Um, so the Raw women's division gained. Um, Lacey Evans. Yeah. That's it. And no, no, Naomi. Oh, and Naomi. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So I don't even know who the hell's on Raw. 
Uh, you have Natalia, you have Dana Brooke, Alexa Bliss, Ruby. Um, so Sarah you have Morgan. Alicia Foxes. Alicia, yeah. So you have like three jobbers, a non-competitor. <clears throat> um, Honestly, it seems like they're building this division about around Lacey Evans. Which is scary. Yeah. And she's going to take that belt off of Becky. It would make sense the way that they've been booking it. Yeah, because later on in the evening, um, after Becky was out there, right? Mm -hmm. She came out and just cut a promo, right? I think so. Oh, no. She, she had a match Ruby against Ruby. That's right. <clears throat> and then after the match, Natalia came out and challenged her, and then Lacey came out and challenged her. So Natalia and Lacey had a match, right? Yes. And Lacey won. And I guess she's going to get a future title opportunity. So yeah. To be fair, that, that moonsault was pretty cool. It was. Yeah. It looked like it hurt very bad when yeah. she well, landed on Natalia. Yeah. But, but it was cool. It was impressive. I didn't watch the match. I didn't watch anything. I just saw the replay of the finish. Right, that's what I saw, too. I was playing on my phone most of go. the night. Yeah. Um, it was not very exciting. <clears throat> they split up Gable and Rude. Yes, so but that Gable. wasn't even on TV. No. So we got Bobby Roode, EC3, and Eric Young doing nothing on Raw. They're going to be, they'll be a new stable. Yeah. TNA 2019. That'll be their stable name. Wait, what? TNA 2019. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, like, I don't, like, what the hell are you talking about? That makes sense. I don't know sense. what they're going to do with them. Yeah. Um, so is there anyone you're less interested in than Lars Sullivan? Um... The answer has to be yes, mm -hmm. but I can't think of anybody right now. Yeah, I mean, this is just something that they've tried time and time again. With and it makes guys. no sense. It's not even doing it as well as Braun Strowman did. No, and, well, obviously you can see how lightly he puts the guys down when he slams them and things like that, because, A, he's been targeting old men, and uh, we haven't heard him on the mic. I don't think he talked much in NXT, right? Not really. Um, I'm surprised there's no mouthpiece to go with him. I mean, there might be down the road. I don't even know who they'd use. Yeah. They don't have anybody. It's, it's not going to be a Heyman guy. Mm -mm. Um, there's too many, there's too many potential Heyman guys to pick someone like him. Yeah. It, it's just, just strange. I don't, I don't see it going over the way they want it to. No, it, it'll find her. He'll get one big match and then yeah. they're like, okay, I guess this isn't working. So, but the problem is, who the hell is it going to be against? There's no, like, big force. Like, if, at least if you put them on a Raw, you can just bury them with Braun. Yeah. Well, it, it'll, it'll probably be their, the big match they're oh, building is him and Roman. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, It'll so Roman will come. Yeah. That's fine. I'm okay with that. It'll probably be a title match. Mm, not necessarily. I really hope Later that they keep... I really hope that they keep Roman away from the title. The problem is, I don't know if they, they... I mean, you can only keep him busy with stuff for so long. That's not true. They can do a program with uh, with Randy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I he's forgot got, about that guy. Yeah. I know. He's very easy to forget. <laughs> have him have, have him and Cesaro. Mm -hmm. That'd be good. Well, that's another thing. We didn't see Sheamus on the show last night, so... I mean, yeah, we don't know why. I don't think anything has been... Honestly, as much as I like the bar as a team, I'd be okay with splitting them up. I mean... Oh, yeah. They you put one on one show and one on the other. With the strength, especially right now because of what they did, with the strength of the tag team divisions, it really doesn't matter what you do. No, and how many, what are they, four or five time tag champions probably by yeah. now? Yeah, so at this point, they're they're good. Yeah. They um, could have both of them because Cesaro is widely considered one of the most underappreciated wrestlers absolutely. in the whole, uh, whole company. Yeah, uh, I would agree with that. Because um, he's a lot better than they they book him, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And the man can swing. He can. Oh, man, that <laughs> WrestleMania swing was... Who did he do that to? I forget. He was a smaller guy. Was it Ricochet? Yes, it was. Yes. Yeah. yes. Swinging um, for like a year and a half. Yep. Speaking of smaller guys, we got uh, two people that are allowed to leave 205 Live now. Cedric will be joining Raw, and Buddy Murphy will be joining SmackDown. Yeah, it's crazy. A guy that we thought would never get... A guy that we thought was never going to be better than a bad tag team in NXT. Right. And now is he, going to be somewhat featured on SmackDown. given an opportunity, and that that was that. He ran with it. Buddy yeah. Murphy. 
Um, Crazy. Finn Balor moved over to SmackDown. That's big. Yeah, I don't really like what they did. Like, I get why they did it. But he, they had him lose on Raw to Andrade mm-hmm. and then come over to SmackDown and beat um, Ali. Ali. Yeah. So, like, I get it. They want to make a good impression for the new guys. Well, that was pretty much it. Whoever was the new people pretty much won their match. But why did Andrade face Finn? I don't know. That's what the problem is. That's He could have faced anybody. Well, I guess, it, guess their thought process was it doesn't matter because Finn's going to SmackDown. It's fair. That's... Also, Finn was wearing those blue trunks, <laughs> so obviously yeah, he was going I to SmackDown. said it on commentary. Somebody said it. Probably Renee. Uh, yeah, like um, we could be looking into the future or something. So, <laughs> this really isn't a huge part of the show, but uh, the Shield are going to have their final, uh, final, final, final reunion. Yeah, what Sunday. are they I doing? It's a house show. I would imagine yeah. so. <clears throat> that they're, I guess they're just gonna have a match from it. They're probably gonna face Corbin, probably. McIntyre, and Lashley. Yeah, and at the end of the match, Dean's gonna get on the microphone. I'm just kidding. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, you guys. Changed my mind. I'm here to stay. I can't walk out on my family. Oh, wait, Roman, you're on SmackDown now. No, Dean will just go back to SmackDown. <laughs> yeah. Another tag team. Yeah, yeah that's what we need. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. The Miz is on Raw now. Yes. that's uh, He keeps a streak alive of yeah. changing every superstar Every shake-up. time. Yeah. <laughs> And Raw is going to nope. be the better of the two shows. That was a fantastic way they introduced oh, him yeah. in. Because uh-huh. he kept it going with Shane, and then he got busted open. He's just bleeding down yeah, his I, head. And I'm like, it must have been when he fell into the crowd, probably a chair or something. That's what I figured as soon as he went over the road. But, I mean, that reaction he got as soon as he came through. And oh, yeah, he's him, he's so good. Shane was, yeah, very um, good. They, they, they did a good job. They're doing a good job with the McMahons. Because mm-hmm. Stephanie came out, and she's acting like... Acting like a good guy, but everyone's booing her. That's and she's, Stephanie. Yeah, she's inadvertently, like, getting heat and stuff like that. And then they have Shane come out. Mm. And then Super he shows... Heat. Yeah. And he shows his favorite clip or whatever at <laughs> WrestleMania. And it was just him shaking, <laughs> shaking Miz's dad. Yeah. And then... And then he made Mike Rome do his entrance, much like he does with... Yeah. Uh, I thought what they were going to do was just like, you know what? You're going to SmackDown. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Because they, they, they made reference that everybody was el- eligible to change mm-hmm. brands. So I'm like, oh, the first person is going to be a commentator. That's funny. Yeah, right? Well, not even a ring yeah, announcer. Yeah, ring announcer, yeah. yeah. But that was, uh, that was good. Yeah, it was good with the Miz. Yeah. Yeah. Um... We saw the Usos, like I said earlier, they're on Raw now. So yep. uh, I guess good change of scenery for them. I mean, the tag division was a little stale on SmackDown with those three teams, yeah, them, the it, New Day, and the Usos. It was, uh, it was a lot of lot of the same. It was still good. No, oh, yeah, the quality wasn't bad. There was just not a whole lot yeah. of, like, new stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, they didn't place heavy machinery now, I think about it. No, they did not. So maybe they'll just, like, make a Twitter post at some point or whatever. Maybe. Um because I, I was thinking, I'm like, that's the whole reason why they brought up them mm-hmm. and Ricochet and Black. Right, right, right. To, well, I don't think that's why they brought up Ricochet and Black. I think they kind of just fell into mm-hmm. that position. Yeah, I wonder how long they're going to actually stay together as a tag team. I figured they were going to split them up. I thought so, too. Because they had Ricochet come out by himself. Mm-hmm. And I think that... One of them on a, on commentary said something about him not being on a team with Aleister Black anymore. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. And then they cut to commercial, and, and it, it comes, comes back, and the Black. next person yep. out is Aleister Black. Uh, I'm like, oh, okay, so they didn't do that then. So how long do you think Hawkins and Ryder are going to hold on to those belts? Um, this is a placeholder team, right? Yeah, they're just going to lose them to the Viking experience at the next pay-per-view. <laughs> Probably. No, that's, that's going to yeah, be yeah, what yeah, happens. That's who they pinned, right? Yeah, yeah. They, it was Ryder. Yeah, they're they're not going to defend those titles. No, they're not going to have a title match until a pay per view, and then they're going to lose. That's true. Um, yeah, I'm surprised the revival stayed on Raw. A little, a little surprising, but at the same time, why why give them what they mm-hmm. want? Yeah. So, uh, I, looking forward to the revival versus the Usos if we do get that. I think that should be good. Be very good. Yeah, very good program. Just needs to actually have a reason. Yeah. So, because other, otherwise they'll just be like eight man tags like this one. Yeah, yeah, they did a lot of this throw together stuff, but again, as much like last week, it was just spinning their wheels until, I guess. Well, 
last week they couldn't they didn't want to do anything because because of this and this week they were kind of like held back because our shiny new toys yeah pretty much because they needed all the new people to win and you can't really showcase things properly if that's how you're going about things because you have people on the existing brand facing the new guys Mm -hmm. and then you have people moving over that were on raw so it's a little a little confusing. Yep. Yeah, because you don't know who's actually on what brand until SmackDown really rolls around. Yeah. The only people that you know are the ones who come from SmackDown to Raw. Mm-hmm. Although I must say, the way they do it is good. Well, yeah. That's... It's not like one night, we're like, okay, this person's going here, this person's mm-hmm. going there. It's it one up. at a time yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. thing. And yeah. it gives it gives the it gives them the opportunity to get a reaction. Whereas if it's just a draft like they did the first time, and I'm not saying that they what they did was incorrect because you obviously have to do it that way. Yeah. But at least to do it like this, it's everyone gets a little bit of the action. That's true. So that is true. Except for the people that get announced, like in the little. Yeah. Yeah, but usually it's no one that uh that important has any real value to them in yeah. the WWE size anyway. Mm-hmm. Um. So what do you think of uh, Kyrie and? Uh, Asuka as a team. Um. Okay, I guess. Yeah. That kind of just says that there's no real plan to have anybody mm-hmm. really contend with Becky. Yeah. Which is why I'm not exactly sure if I agree with your Lacey Evans taking the title away from yeah. her. I feel like she's going to have both of them for a while. You think? I don't know why. I don't agree with the idea. It's possible. But I think maybe what they're doing is they will unify the belt mm-hmm. because she's already doing both anyway. Yeah. So why not just go all in? It's possible. So, and this way they can do the, okay, I'll challenge you, and then I'll challenge you. Right. And you can have interlo- interlocking storylines where she's facing two different people at once. We'll so. see. Because she's not going to wrestle every week. Oh, no, 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 no. So it's not like it really matters. So... But I, I don't think that's a terrible idea. Yeah. No, that would be fine. Although, I think she likes the uh, Becky Two Belts yeah, thing a little too much. Yeah. And if so, they put out a t-shirt, then we know uh, that they're not to that title. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah, because, I mean, Asuka would definitely have had a reason to challenge Becky. I mean, she made her tap out at the Royal Rumble. And, yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah, I think that this is a good way of showing that they don't plan on having yeah. anyone yeah. really compete with her. It's true. Um speaking of strange women's booking Mm -hmm. so i know we're not supposed to think anything of this but carmella had a competitive match with charlotte and that's kind of weird i'm not complaining about it i like the fact that they did it well but it goes completely against everything everything (laughs) they've done over the last three months well that and you know Carmel's whole whole title feud with Charlotte was a joke. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's very strange. I'm not complaining again because Carmel has come a very long way, yeah. and I'm a pretty big fan of hers. Um, but it's still weird to see a SmackDown match where she didn't she did tap out kind of quickly to the figure eight, yeah. but the rest of the match was pretty competitive. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. So it's just strange. Yeah. And it kind of takes Charlotte down a bunch of pegs. Well, she's she, not the focus, so I guess you know that's, that's probably their thinking. It's whatever. It's yeah. all eyes on Becky right now. It's true. So that's what. Because yeah, that match really didn't happen for any reason. Ah. It basically just set up Lars coming out and beating up our truth. Yeah. Which <laughs> I mean, I think most of the other matches that have happened were at least someone coming over. Maybe. Yeah. No, this this the main was, event wasn't. That was all SmackDown guys, but it was the new New Day. Yeah, it's true. So, well, you are gonna have to have WWE champion in the main event, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially fine. now. Yeah. Because there's nothing that, like, it's going on. Because the A storyline is the New Day, mm-hmm. as opposed yeah. to normally, like, with the Shield, if they don't have a title, they're, they're usually the, the A yeah. storyline. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, do we know how long Big E is going to be out for? Um, probably a while, I would assume. Uh, maybe I don't know. What they could be doing is if this isn't a long-term thing, mm-hmm. this could be Big E's chance to, I guess, kind of deviate. Because he can come back and say, like, oh, well, yeah. 
I got replaced and That's stuff true. like that. Uh, because, yeah, the potential is all there for that man to have a title run. It's true. Or at least a big singles push. Oh, yeah. But, you know, technically speaking, they all have the potential. Absolutely. Yeah. I, th- I think I think Xavier would be a good IC or U.S. champion. Mid-card, yeah, absolutely. Um, you'd be, even without the New Day, he would be very good, like, on the mic and everything. Yeah, very, so, very strong there. Um, so that's that's my thought. But very unhappy with the um, all of his up up yeah. down down team members going. Yeah. They're all on Raw. If Tyler Breeze <laughs> isn't on SmackDown, I don't remember what he said. I don't but remember. I'm gonna lose it or something yeah. like that. That was great. It's, I mean, maybe they'll bring him over. I, don't know. I guess I don't know. He doesn't do anything anyway, so what's yeah, the matter? There's, there's a he lot. he did wrestle at Worlds Collide though. He did. I didn't even know they were doing that. Yeah, they taped that what I think last week. Before. Harper had a match. He did. Uh, yeah, that, we don't know what his uh, status is. Uh, he's he probably social leaving. media. He's probably to do leaving. it. So I think that's what he probably got permission to do that. Yeah, I would assume so. Um, I think Undisputed Era faced Sanity, mm. and Undisputed Era won. I believe. Probably. I didn't uh, watch any of it. Uh, there was like I think they like put up a, a YouTube video mm. where like Sanity is like. Want Vash to get revenge or something like that? They're not a team anymore, so it doesn't no, matter. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't make a difference. Yeah, well, you know, at least they didn't fire somebody from their company and then keep them on the tapings. So, it did, impacted that. I was gonna they say, did they? Eli Drake, he, he has a match coming up this week. And awesome, he's still going. Nice. Yeah, it's it's anyway. It's yeah. Um, Nothing, nothing earth shattering. Braun beats up EC3. Yeah, for no reason. Nope. EC3 wanted competition. Yeah. And then out came Braun, which you know I kind of figured it was going to be somebody from SmackDown that was going to come out. That you could have just brought Joe out, but I guess we don't know. Maybe it was that probably was, supposed that to be was Joe. Probably what it was supposed to be. That makes guess, a lot more sense yeah. than having Braun come. Yeah, out. but I guess Joe was either under the weather or travel issues because apparently there was a whole bunch of travel issues on Monday. And which is to weird. The script. I yeah. don't know. Well, they had that freak blizzard, or was that? No, maybe that was last week. I don't know. I don't know. It was nice here. Yeah. No, there was a place, I forget where it was. It was like 80 degrees one day, and they had a blizzard the next day or something crazy like that. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it was like some weird weather going on. Yeah. Um, I think that covers all of Raw. Pretty much. And probably most, most of SmackDown. Most of SmackDown, yeah. I uh, mean, the best match of the week it was probably Andrade versus Ballad. That was a very good match. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, 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 Andrade I mean, came out hot on that too. Oh yeah, yeah. No, um, it seemed like they continued to move a lot of the couples, except for Andrade and Charlotte. They were both on opposite brands because um, Zelina and Alistair are on Raw, uh, Jimmy and Naomi are on Raw. Yeah. Uh, who else was? Well, we don't know about Killian and Nikki. Uh, well, they're, neither of them have shows anyway. No, so. yeah, Sarah Logan and uh, Ray Row um, mm-hmm. or. Eric, I think, is his new name. Yeah, something Eric like that. Eric and Igor or yeah, it was Ivar or so something dumb. like that. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't know. Doesn't seem like they're setting up for, for much for right now. At least nothing that they've shown. Yeah. But, I mean, I guess this week was just the focus on the shakeup and the next week to get to work. Had to be. I guess. I mean, in a month's time, it's it's money in the bank. So you think the Miz and Shane will no continue? Thank God. Are you sure? Positive. I I don't know. I don't think so. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Although I'm probably wrong. Most likely. Just because you know, Shane has been so like ingrained in SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Like it would make sense that he wouldn't be on Raw. So that's I'm true. hoping that's what that means. <laughs> Keep these two away from each other. Yeah. So. Um, I forget what else I was going to say. Yeah, May 19th. I was yeah. close. Uh, so Joe probably moves over to Raw, so I assume him and Braun are going to have a program, which should be good. Yeah, they teased that last week. Yeah. Um, so that'll set up the U.S. title picture, probably. Um, I guess. I don't know. Going I, I, off of what we've been given, man. I know. I just don't know if it makes any sense for Braun to win the U.S. title. 
I mean, I guess you can't knock him down any farther, right? I guess. I don't know, main event. Sure, go. that works. Yeah. Uh, it's my well, favorite show. <laughs> yeah, the IC title scene could be a lot of names you could put in there. Yeah, there's literally anybody on that show. Yeah, which, like I said, the WWE and IC title could be interchangeable. Like huh? they, uh, Finn, years Finn back. could win that belt. He could. And that is uh, that's something big. <laughs> there's so, nothing for June. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nothing yet. Huh. Yeah. I know NXT is doing a standalone show in June. So nothing has been uh, been confirmed. And there you go. Yeah. But then again, it's. It's Money in the Bank in May, out. July, Extreme Rules, which is weird. Yeah, they, yeah. I guess that makes sense why we had two weeks of really nothing, because yeah. next pay-per-view is in for literally a month. Yeah, from... and SummerSlam and Survivor Series are, but those are well, planned ahead. Early, right? uh, it was later, August yeah. of last year, because it was before we went to... Uh, yeah, it was like the 20th, 20th I think, yeah, last year. Yeah, like that. Yeah, it was a week before we went away. So... But uh, I think that covers everything. Yeah. I mean, uh, let's hope next week is good. <laughs> I don't know. The story should start. Yeah. That's really but all we can hope for. You know, you get you excited for these things, and then everything becomes a letdown, and that's what uh, they're, they're good at. Yeah, it's true. They know what they're doing in that department. Yeah. Um, you know, with the possible news of AEW, Maybe going to TNT or TBS. Uh, mm-hmm. That will give them, uh, I think, a kick in the pants. And It's not the same night, though. It's not. It's not. But so it really doesn't mean anything. It's true. But all it's really going to do is show if there are fans. Yeah. It's not going to hurt the WWE. It's going to go, well, they drew a four. Mm-hmm. How come we're only drawing twos? That's the only thing there's going to be. And yeah. there's literally nothing they can do to fix uh, it. That's, uh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> that's, it, it's dead in the water. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's it, nothing they can just flip a switch. Yeah, and turn it, it, it doesn't around. matter how good the product is. People just don't care anymore. No. There's so many outlets in which you can watch this. It's true. I know that at the least... the best version to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> at, at least every other week, that's how I watch it, or mm-hmm. one of the two. Yeah. So... And you know, it just doesn't. And it's not must see TV. No, it's not. I don't. The way I look at it on a Monday night, as soon as Raw starts, my night my night is over. Mm-hmm. And it's not like I I don't watch because I feel compelled to. I watch because if I don't, I'm gonna have to do, inconvenience myself <laughs> at a later point to try I, to. Watch I guess it. that's fair. So, like, unless you get stuck working. But you, but that's what I mean. Like yeah, if I'm home, well, yeah, yeah. It that, like I I watch it out of necessity, yeah. Not out of because I want to actually see what's going on. That's fair. Not because I want to, but I I want to make sure that my notes are accurate. That's really what it is. <laughs> so we're, you're basically watching it to review it. And that's, yes, that's what it's coming down to. More or less. Yeah. Not not to say that if we didn't do it, you I, would. I would still be watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just be, wouldn't be watching with the same intent. I got gotcha. you. I would probably yeah, actively no. I would probably actively not watch it on Monday. Mm-hmm. Wait until Tuesday, and then I can wait later for SmackDown. Yeah. Which kind of gives us the option when SmackDown moves to the Friday. Friday. Night, yeah. Because you don't you have the time gap yeah 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 it's true so because i most likely will probably not catch it live yeah we still gotta figure out what we're gonna do with that yeah we could technically work a week behind yeah that's true yeah but when the time comes the time comes who it's knows? true could be just temporary and they end up moving it again move it to thursday see. there you go Take or, the old impact slot yeah the old smackdown slot exactly um but yeah they don't want to compete with uh, aew nope but we will right. see. Yep. That is still a while away. October. Yep. But uh yeah, that was episode thirty nine of our podcast. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.